What's going on everyone? My name is Derek with Alvalu Designs. So I just want to give you a quick update. We have this thing cooking now. We've gotten a couple of jobs for 500. Uh, this is the last job for 500 that we have currently and we have one for a thousand coming up uh, by Tuesday. It is a Saturday right now. So we have a little bit of time to get more material because I will finish the roll in the back. These are only 50 foot roll uh, uh, vinyl packs. And so I had just ordered um, a 54 inch vinyl, higher grade 3M, but to be cut into 220s and I believe a, a, a 14 uh, inch section. So that is a lot cheaper and it's higher quality vinyl, uh, which should be fun to experiment with. So right now I have this on the uh, standard uh, setting, um, I'm sorry, draft setting. Standard is like seven minutes, draft is four minutes, but the uh, the detail is almost identical just because it's black and white and it's a solid color. There's not uh, a lot of pixelation or anything. It is a vector uh, drawing and like I said, it's only two colors, so it comes out real easy. Uh, save a couple of minutes there. Um, here's a couple of the stacks. Uh, like I said, we have 500 of these, so we need quite a few more sheets there. Uh, but as this is running, I can go onto the computer, work on other orders. We have uh, uh, quite a few orders of these uh, bear decals. Let me see if I can find one around here somewhere. Eh, I don't have one on hand, but uh, this is what it looks like. And we're running nine of the gold right now. It just finished. I waited for it to finish. That way this uh, doesn't make so much noise because that thing is loud. Um, and then, uh, yep, we got 10 of each of these colors we have to do. We had 41 whites that we did. So we tore into our, uh, our big 150 foot white uh, roll here. It's getting a little low now. Uh, so we'll probably order a couple other co uh, colors in that size. Then I have to still go through all these uh, stacks of uh, paperwork to find out what else I need to do. Ran a little low on envelopes. Uh, this was a 100 box, I think, count box. So I went and picked up a 250 count box. That is going to be awesome to work on. And here are a couple other things uh, I did samples of before I cut this vinyl because uh, I won't have any for any more vinyl for like three more days. So I ran a couple other jobs uh, that needed to go before that. Um, except for this one, this one was already run. Uh, this is actually overrun uh, from last week. So uh, yeah, anyways, everything seems to be going good. Loved the BN20. The inks are awesome, uh, super simple to use and easy to set up. Uh, okay to clean. It's a little hard to get into the uh, head cover when you slide it all the way over to clean around it without you know, accidentally worrying about touching something uh, of the uh, nozzle plate. but. You know, uh, I guess I'll figure out a way to do it a little bit easier later on. But uh, right now, everything's going good. The one thing, the silver, man. <laughs> so the silver, everybody says, oh, don't go with silver. You know, it'll clog the head. You won't use it as much. You know, this and that. And it's like, no, you know, I can definitely use it. And I can. The only problem is when you start to rub uh, the silver, it starts flushing off the... Uh, the um, vinyl it doesn't penetrate the vinyl as good so you need to over laminate and unfortunately I don't have an over laminator <laughs> or a cold laminator as uh, you know they're saying so man I, I'm just worried that I'm not going to use that silver enough uh, and for it to settle in the line and clog or anything like that that's what everybody's saying it's kind of got me a little nervous so I wish I just would have gone with the two uh, magenta colors because you could have black, yellow, uh, cyan, magenta, and then magenta again, and it'll go uh, a little bit faster on print speeds and stuff. But, uh, you know, if I can get a cold roller and uh, the vinyl material and jobs for it, then, you know, getting the cold roller is not the big issue. They're like uh, $200 on uh eBay or Amazon for a cheap hand roll, which is all I need. It's finding the right job for it because decals or stickers double the price when you cold laminate them. You know, you're paying for the lamination and the vinyl, which is sometimes almost the same price. Uh, so if not, then at least half the uh, price and that brings the sticker price up or decal price, whatever, um, you know, you're doing. So I don't know. Still got to test the water with that, figure out what I'm going to do. Hopefully... 
I can find a job where I need it and it's indoor only, or maybe I just put a cleaning cartridge in there and I have to talk to the rep and see what I can do, possibly fleshing that out, how much it'll cost to replace, because, yeah, those, this cartridge right here is almost the price of all three of those, or all four of those cartridges, and, uh, you know, eh, a little bummed about it, but, hey, we live and learn, I guess, right? But everything else, awesome. Uh, this thing, you know, was told uh, to be going really slow, but you know, for what I have right now, the production is, is perfect. So everything's good. All right, please like, subscribe, and ask any questions in the comments below, uh, and I'll see if I can get to that. All right, thanks.